So what about the length and the age of creation? Well, the creation week was six days. Hugh and I agree on that. We disagree on exactly what the meaning of those six days, and that's a very key point we'll come to in just a moment here. And then you take the genealogies found elsewhere, Genesis 5, Genesis 11, and elsewhere, and you put these together, and many people smarter than I am have already done this. Archbishop Usher was one, but there are many, many others. Kepler did it. Uh, many people have done this in the past, and interestingly enough, they get a chronology close to 6,000 years, give or take a few centuries. That's pretty impressive. So I think 6,000 years since that time. And the big question we have many times is, what does the word yom mean? That's the Hebrew word, and as Hugh pointed out, it's got probably at least four distinct meanings. But you know, you don't have to worry about too much about the Hebrew, because it turns out the word day, which is the word for day in English, has many of the four same meanings. Now, many in this audience would probably perceive that those coming from an older perspective accept evolution, while young Earth creationists deny it. In fact, by and large, and again, I'm not charging this to be true of Danny, but I see this in other young Earth creationist leaders, in fact, the very opposite is true. That since most young Earth creationists refuse to credit God for creating the carnivores, seeing carnivores as something bad, they appeal to hyper-efficient Darwinism after the fall to explain how the herbivores that God created, at least some of them, became carnivores. And they wind up doing the same thing with Noah's flood, because after all, we have millions of land animal species that would be descended from the few thousand on board Noah's Ark in the young Earth interpretations. 